Check it out guys, here's a quick demo of the last pedal from the Alfalfa Sprout 6.9 Custom Shop. I've um, consolidated some of my parts and I had enough to make a fuzz pedal. Now uh, this is the same fuzz pedal that I made for the What The Fuzz album on the Six String Bliss forums. And uh, yeah, it's got a couple of extra tweaks to it though. Uh, it's a little bit different. Here it is. I call it the Patriot Fuzz, if I can get that in the frame, because it is, well, I guess American Fuzz, pure American Fuzz there. This is a uh, silicon-based uh, fuzz face type circuit with a uh, tone control, quite a unique tone control. The tone control in itself is really just a uh, treble roll-off, so, um, but it really helps. I had in it originally a, a Big Muff style tone control with a mid-cut, and then I tried a mid-boost, but it it still sounds like a fuzz, but not really the same as a fuzz face. But just with this type of control here, just backing off the treble, uh, makes it sound a little bit more thick and um, kind of makes it want to sound like a Germanium fuzz. Uh, got your volume, fuzz knob, and the fur. Now, the fur, this is a project from Fuzz Central called the um, Axis Fuzz or Axis Face or something like that. Sorry, Axis Face. And um, this had serious, serious resistance, which is something that's stolen from the uh, Fulton 69 fuzz. This has got a 100k pot in there, which I think is way too much. Full, uh, full tone uh, has a 50k pot. I think a 25k is enough for it. Um, although I don't really use it that much. It's wired up backwards because it's, it's called fur. So, you know, if you want all the edginess of a fuzz and then... You know, you, you leave it at maximum, you want to back it off, make it more of an overdrive sort of tone or smoother, then you um, you, know, you back it off and you make it a little bit smoother and so forth. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not a control that I think is all that useful. It's supposed to help humbuckers, but um, it, uh, yeah, I mean, it works. It's, I guess, for you guys to decide. But um, anyway, I might replace it with a uh, bias control. So this thing, it's still got a few bugs in it, but it works pretty good. And um, yeah, finding the right transistors, that was the real challenge out there. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is uh, typical of me. It's got my label on the back, runs off a 9 volt adapter, uh, boss style adapter, negative center. And uh, works great, you know. Tough as nails, made of aluminum enclosure. Encl aluminium enclosure. And uh, like I said, this is the last pedal I'm going to make and actually start playing guitar again. Um, I had most of the parts for this. This pedal, the only the only thing I purchased were the uh, the enclosure, two pots, and a couple of capacitors, and that's it. So guys, anyway, um, here's a demo of it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Apologies for the mistakes and uh, clipping in the playing, but um, anyway, this is what it sounds like. Catch you next time.